This is Nancy with Nancy's Garden Soap, and uh, I want to play with some colors tonight. I'm going to be making a, uh, a some cupcakes, and I'm using the fragrance oil Merlot. So I would like to try out mixing some red and then adding some other colors to it. I saw someone else doing someone else do a uh, red that had gold in it. So I want to see what happens if I mix the red with gold, or since I'm running low on gold, what happens if I mix the red with um, copper because I have copper mica. So I'm working with micas here. This one here is a ruby red mica and I'm putting that in this container and then I'm grabbing some radical red neon mica here and they're supposed to be equal parts and I am running low. I'm going to have to order some more. So and radical red's going in there. Sorry, that was, yeah, that's a reticle red neon. And then we're going to use a little stick to stir them together. This is how you form a true red color um, with the micas, so they say. Right now I'm just mixing them dry. And now I'm going to take this and add half of it, or maybe just a little bit. We'll just do like a, a half a teaspoon into there and I would like to add an equal amount of um, the gold shimmer mica like that they're pretty into here and mix it up make a mess It's a little bit light. Um, let me add some of my oils to it and see what we have. I'll take some of the oils I'm going to use. Just a little teaspoon of it. Add that in. That's pretty. All right, I'm back. What I'd like to do is to clean up a little bit and uh, show what these look like on the papers. All right, so on the right we have the ruby red. <clears throat> Over here is the true red mix that I started with. And this here is that mix, <clears throat> mixed equal parts with um, the gold shimmer. This. Now I'm going to take this same ruby red and add a little bit into this container. It's about a teaspoon or so, I'd say. And for that, I'm going to add the copper mica, which is right here. Let me get some on a spoon and I'll show it to you. To here. It's almost like a shiny brown. It's really impressive in, in person, the copper. Okay, mix gently. And I'm going to get a teaspoon of my oils and add them in. I'm really short on my gold mica too. So I would prefer to use the copper because I have more of it. That's really pretty. I don't know if you can tell the difference. Let's put this here and put that there. I feel like I'm doing lipstick commercial or something. Can you tell the difference at all? This one's they're very similar. This one's a little bit more um, brown, and this one's a little bit more orangey, perhaps. 
All right, turn the flash on to see if you can kind of see the difference like that. I'm not sure you can. Here's that one and here's this one. They're quite similar, which I guess is a good thing because that means that I can mix either one, gold or copper, in and still get a an acceptable rose gold type color. Um, last thing I want to do is uh, <clears throat> is mix some of this red with some of the oils so you can see what it looks like. Um, so you know what the, get a more accurate idea of what this red is, the true red that you can form by mixing the radical red neon with the um, ruby red mica. Okay, and there it is. Let me show you what that looks like right there. Like lipstick colors. I don't really see much difference between the um, using the gold versus using the... I don't see a difference between these two too much. And that is the red. Alright, that is all I'm doing right now with um, these colorants. I'm going to be using them in my soap in just a little bit to make some soap cupcakes. So check them out. It's going to be a Merlot soap cupcakes. All right. Thanks for watching and have a great day.